Welcome back. It's great to be back with you uh, for another assembly. Look, the hair is getting even longer. Um, got a haircut coming up this week. Um, uh, so hopefully when you see me next, I'll, you'll be able to recognise me. Um, I've, got, I've got the biggest matches you've ever seen. Look at the size of that match. Um, we're going to light the candle, but it's a very special candle that we're lighting for assembly today because this candle uh, has a sticker on it and the candle says 2021 and the candle's name is a Paschal candle and Paschal candles are there to celebrate Easter and on Easter day uh, vicars uh, like me tend to um, bless these candles and the candles are then lit as a sign that Jesus has risen from the dead and that he's with us now. So, oh, look at that, it's worked first time. And we'll light that up there. Wow. There we go. And, um, and the Easter candle is a really important candle. Sometimes we use the Easter candle uh, when we have funerals and always when we have baptisms because again it just reminds us that our faith is a, a living faith it's a bit like a flame it kind of lives it flickers it it, it uh, gives off light and heat and and warmth that's what faith is all about too uh, just being able to make the world a better place um, well how did Easter go for you? Did you have lots of chocolate eggs? I'm guessing you probably did. And, um, and hopefully you remembered what it was all about. And Jesus uh, was no longer hanging on a cross. He was no longer buried in a tomb. The tomb had burst open. And on Easter day, Jesus rose from the dead. And then, for about 40 days, everybody kept seeing Jesus in different places. I'm going to tell you about the third place that Jesus was seen. And it's a very special place up in Galilee, in the north of Israel. Um, well, the disciples, Peter, John, James, they'd all sort of got to a point where they'd think, well, okay... Jesus is risen from the dead. That's brilliant. Um, but what do we do now? I, I guess we just go back to our old lives. Um, we're fishermen. Shall we go back and do some fishing? So uh, that's what they did. They went up to Galilee and they started fishing. And it says uh, in Luke's gospel, that sorry, John's gospel, that uh, they were fishing one day and... Um, they caught nothing. They'd been out all night. It was one of those days. Oh, nothing, nothing. And then they saw this figure on the beach. It was Jesus, but they didn't know it was Jesus. And they saw this figure. And the figure said to them, why don't you put your nets on the other side of the boat? And they looked at each other. Well, I'd... I suppose we've got nothing to lose. We, we haven't caught any fish, so we'll have a look. And, and so they, they pulled up their nets and then they cast their nets out onto the other side of the boat. And suddenly the net started filling up. It was full to bursting. They were pulling out all these fish. They couldn't believe it. So many fish, they couldn't actually bring the net onto the boat. Instead, they, they thought, oh, they were pulling, pulling, pulling. Meanwhile, the disciples knew whenever there was a miracle or anything exciting happened, Jesus tended to be around. So all eyes went on to the figure on the beach. Peter recognised it straight away. He said, it is the Lord. And Peter uh, took off his outer coat, threw it on the ground, and then splashed into the sea and swam to where Jesus was. And the rest of the disciples 
rowed back, sailed back onto the shore, onto the beach, with this big net full of fish behind them. And they landed the catch onto the beach. Meanwhile, by the time Peter had got there, he couldn't believe it. It was Jesus, he recognised him, but Jesus had lit a fire. He had a charcoal fire going, and on the fire, he had a barbecue. He had uh, fish going, and he had bread going, and they couldn't believe it. He was preparing breakfast, and Jesus said to them, come and eat breakfast. And that's what they did. So they had breakfast on the beach that day with the risen Jesus. How cool is that? And we know it, it happened because there's a little funny detail that the story gives us and John gives us in his uh, telling of the story. He says, you know, that day, it was very strange. There were 153 fish caught in the net. They counted every single one of them. But I think what really stuck in the memory must have been having breakfast with Jesus on a beach over a barbecue. So cool. Uh, we're going to sing a song, uh, Easter song, Alleluia, praise the Lord. So um, I'll get the guitar. Here we go. That's right. So we go, uh, thank you, Lord, for this new day. Uh, of course, it was uh, a new day when they were uh, on that boat and then they caught the fish and then had breakfast. It was a brand new day and they saw Jesus afresh that day. Amazing. So we're going to have, um, uh, thank you, Lord, for that new day. Then thank you, Lord, for food to eat. Uh, thank you, Lord, for all your gifts. And then uh, we'll try it. Now, when you go, hallelujah, praise the Lord. What I always do is uh, uh, I encourage you to, hallelujah, praise the Lord. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Can you try that? I won't be able to do the actions because I'm playing the guitar as well. Uh, so we'll see. All right. now um, shall we say some prayers so heavenly father i want to thank you uh, for barbecues and breakfasts on the beach thank you that the disciples met with jesus again that day and thank you that jesus showed himself to so many people uh, over so many days after the resurrection Lord, we pray for our schools, we pray for our homes, for our families, we ask for your blessing on them, and we pray for our teachers and our learning, and we ask that the next term, this summer term coming up, would be an amazing term, and things would get better and better every day. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. And we'll say the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, 
Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Wow. So we've got to put the candle out. I can't bring the candle to you because it's on a really fancy stand that's a little bit flimsy. So I'm going to try and bring you to the candle. So if you can um, wave your hands really, really fast and see if you can blow this candle out with your hands. I don't know if you'll do it. Well, let's have a go. Here we go. It's getting nearer. Here we go. We can try it. Right. One, two... Oh, where's it gone? Hang on. Oh, there. One, two, three. No, it hasn't worked. Should we try that again? Uh, try and get a bit closer. Where's it gone again? It's disappeared. There we go. One, two, three. 